Hi everybody, today is day 13. Can you believe it? 13 days after my vitrectomy on my right eye. I'm feeling really good today. I am home again. Uh, you know, when you're kidnapped and taken to Ocean City uh, to, you know, help you just have a moment and, and enjoy uh, the, the, the bay. It's, it's, it was a wonderful, wonderful time. If you get a chance, check out day 12, uh, where I talk day 11 and 12, where I talk about being in Ocean City and how it felt and a few little surprises that occurred. But today, today being day 13 and looking back on my journey, one of the, 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 the biggest things that I had to do was to, to decide how I was going to be face down for three or more days. I thought it was going to be five to eight days face down. I don't know how I would have done it. I mean, of course, for the ability to ha regain all of my sight, in my right eye, I, I would do anything. But to tell you the truth, day three, which was my last day of being face down, was brutal. I, I don't know how I would have made it to day eight. But one of the things that they tell you that you need to research, and probably you would, they recommend that you rent these um, devices is to help you be a little bit more comfortable being face down 23 out of the 24 hours in the day, meaning every hour, five minutes, you get up and move around and then you're laying face down or sitting face down. Because it was during the pandemic, I was going back and forth in the rental prices for the device. I ended up just purchasing one online through Amazon. From a, from a company at, at victrectomy.com, actually. And the, no tools were necessary for this device. Um, and I was really excited, and I was a little uh, concerned about using something that someone else used, especially during this time. So that's why I went with something brand new. So I got a box and there were a lot of really interesting things in it. But uh, one of the things they give you is, of course, um, the paperwork, which just kind of tells you how, how to use it um, and in what position. Now, the one that I had gotten was convertible. Um, not like the car, the convertible, but basically it would switch from you using it at a dinner table with your face down and maybe eating and or at your bed between the two mattresses where your head is hanging off and laying face down in into this contraption. Now the contraption is similar to say uh, the top end of a massage chair that you would be face down and have your neck and head and back and shoulders uh, massaged at say at the airport. So I thought this was pretty cool. Um, and they had some extras, which I'm gonna show you. But first of all, I wanted to tell you, I wanna show you what it looks like. So here it is, ta-da! This little contraption here. And that's where you put your head. And that's where my head was. Um, it sits like this. And of course, things are adjustable. So the top end is adjustable. There's a little lever, goes up and down, okay? And you can adjust the tilt. So basically, I had it at a 45 degree angle. Now, this is the position that you would have if you're gonna be at a table. And there was one other thing that was really cool about that. And that is, say you wanted to watch TV, okay? Well, they give you a mirror, okay? 
This mirror then uh, sits in such a way so that you can see the reflection of said TV. And look, see the reflection? So now the person looking down would see the opposite end. Pretty cool. Honestly, I really didn't feel like watching TV that much. I didn't act, as a matter of fact, I didn't turn on the TV at all. I did have my cell phone checking text messages with people wishing me well. Um, but most of the time, my face was just in there and my eye was sore and hurting. So I really didn't use it. But maybe I will in the future. <laughs> the other thing that they gave us, or gave me, was this little like sleeve covering. But it only covered a portion of it. Like so. See? So I ended up having to get some ties. I know I put them here to tie it up. It's a little string. So I took the string and then just tied it in place. And then called it a night. It was only going to be for three days anyway, so it really didn't matter. Uh, but the best part was no one else's face was on this cushion. Now, the other really interesting thing is, is that when you are sitting at the table, your, your, your chest is pressed up against here. So there are ways to, to get around that. And I'm trying to look at how you, you bring it. So there's a little pad that you put on the other end and then you can rest yourself against it. See? So that was fun. The other thing is, is if you're going to be laying horizontal, there is another adjustment that you can make, which is this lever right here. Flip it. And now this goes in between the mattresses. Yeah. And then your head is hanging out. I'm actually going to post the picture of my face in the contraption, laying in the bed, actually the few days after the surgery. So this was um, actually worth it. It was a little over $200. By the time you look at it, I don't know what the price is going to be. But um, one thing, it was very light, very comfortable. And then when I went to see the, the surgeon for post-op, um, he I took this and I was face down. So, so that worked out really well. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, so it came in um, in a box. And it folded up pretty nicely and there were some parts that you know came apart which was easily you know the pillow which now is not gonna come off there you go the pillow comes off and it's really nice and cushy and um, uh, there was the height adjustment you can adjust the height here there is another little lever uh, no there are little knobs down here to go up and down to reduce the height you know, in terms of how high your bed is and you're hanging off. So that one I really, I thought it was really, really cool. Um, it also comes with a bag. So when I'm done, I'll just store it away. I, I have no intentions of calling into the presence of having another vitrectomy. But maybe someone else might need one and I have it and I could loan it out so that was there and of course they gave a couple extra sleeves but I really only used one because it was only for three days and you know and then that was it so uh, I found it to be um, worth the price 
The other thing is, is what I told you, uh, I think, I believe I told you was that um, I borrowed a um, portable massage chair from a friend who's a masseuse. And I just want to thank you right now because it made a world of difference. Thank you, Carol Ann Graham. Um, it's very light. Uh, I will show you some photos of that as well. And so I spent a couple hours laying down horizontally, get up for five minutes, maybe go to the bathroom, and then I would sit in a massage chair. And then after a couple hours, then I would go and lay down again. And I pretty much did that for those three days that I was face down. Uh, I, it helped me in terms of getting up in the blood flow. I kept them pretty close to each other. Uh, it, but I, I was happy to have the two. There are options where you can rent um, a, several different devices. But I just found that just getting this one was, it, it, it just worked for me. So that was my journey. And I just would say that I liked, I really, really liked the aspect of having something that was portable, easily could get in the car and you're moving about. Perhaps, you know, you have to have it, you have to be face down longer than three days. I'm feeling blessed that I did not. Uh, have to do that. So this video was a little bit longer and I apologize, but I really wanted to show you the vitrectomy uh, device that I use that got me through it. And that there are options and there are a lot of places out there that you can rent if you want to do that, if you have to have it for a longer period of time. The price point might be better for you. So all in all, um, feeling uh, really blessed uh, to to even have the option to to purchase it, purchase the vitrectomy uh, device, and also the fact that slowly, little by little, I'm seeing changes, uh, improvements in my vision, which I, I just wanted to share and say I'm really excited about that. I still got the jiggles. I got the jiggly motion going on, the wave-like motion. Um, I'm not supposed to do any head bobbing. Uh, and there's still things that I have to do to help, you know, keep the process of healing going forward and not fighting against it. And I will continue, continue to do that. Laying on my side, uh, not on my back or on my stomach. Uh, and no driving, no, no, no lifting of anything over 10 pounds. And I, I don't know the weight on the uh, vitrectomy um, device, but it's not 10 pounds. It's maybe five, if that, really, really light. So do consider that. That was vitrectomy.com. Um, I don't have any kind of affiliate thing going. But hey, if you guys want to approach me, you know where to find me. Uh, so thank you for joining me and supporting me during this journey. If you have any questions about the device, about what's the, the procedure, about um, the struggles that I had with uh, health issues during the COVID-19 pandemic, or if you'd like to share your own struggles in with with your health during COVID-19 pandemic, please, please, please leave a comment or shoot me an email uh, and all that information you can find in my bio. Thank you so much for joining me today. Love and light and I will see you tomorrow.